Hi everyone, I'm Mike Jacoby from Lucid Vision Labs and I'm here to talk about newer, higher resolution sensors and how they impact the machine vision camera design and what features you need to look out for in a camera so that you're getting the most out of that awesome, newer, higher resolution sensor. It can be very beneficial to move up towards a higher resolution sensor. There are a couple reasons for this. First off, higher resolutions allow you to simplify your application design by reducing the overall number of cameras needed. For example, instead of using three or four or five megapixel cameras, you can maybe use just one 20 megapixel camera. This of course also has a domino effect on the reduction of camera accessories too, less lenses, less cables, potentially even less lighting. Not to mention a reduction in maintenance over the lifespan of your application. On the other side, Say you choose to keep the same number of cameras but upgrade to a higher resolution, you can speed up inspection by imaging a larger scene, placing more targets to be inspected in the field of view at one time. Typically, higher resolution sensors, let's say 12 megapixels and up, are going to be larger in their sensor size versus lower resolutions. And what we've seen over the past couple of years is a growing number of new sensors moving beyond the one inch sensor size. We see sensor sizes at four thirds and beyond. For example, the 31.4 megapixel IMX342 on the Atlas camera is an APS-C size sensor, which is larger than four thirds. If we even look at some of the latest fourth generation Sony Pregius sensors, even though their pixel size is smaller than their second and third generation, they're still packing in a high number of pixels. The 24.6 megapixel IMX530 sensor on our Atlas 10 camera is a four third type sensor size. Improvements in pixel technology has allowed for pixel sizes to shrink, but still retain similar image quality performance as larger pixel sizes. Overall, we're seeing a trend in both pixel sizes getting smaller and sensor sizes also getting bigger. Obviously, sensors don't just work on their own and they need to be properly integrated into the camera. So is it enough to just get any camera with these high resolution sensors? Well, not necessarily. Here's what we do at Lucid to maximize image quality. First off, integrating these larger sensors takes more expertise to ensure maximum image quality because larger sensors can be more sensitive to back focal distance tolerances such as tilt, rotation, and centering in relation to the lens barrel. So it's very important that sensors are precisely placed in the camera as well as also being consistently placed correctly between each unit so that each unit performs predictably from one to the other. A slight sensor displacement of 30 micrometers in edge tilt can mean that while the center of your image is looking sharp, your corners are blurry. At Lucid, all of our Triton and Atlas models employ active sensor alignment when the sensor is placed into the camera. This manufacturing step aligns the sensor actively during its placement by making very precise adjustments in real time as it calculates the maximum sharpness across the entire sensor plane. Once that calculation is made, it will fix all the imaging components in place. This ensures clear, sharp images from the center to the edge of the image. Second thing that's important is making sure the camera goes through proper sensor clarity tests after manufacturing. For all of our cameras, we do robust testing to check for hot pixels and darker defective pixels at various camera temperatures, as well as dust particle inspection on both sensor and camera glass. Other important testing is the EMVA1288 sensor performance tests. This standardized testing measures image quality specs such as quantum efficiency, dynamic range, saturation capacity, and more. These tests measure the sensor's performance inside the camera. So they take into account cover glass, if any, and any impact surrounding camera components and circuitry might have on the sensor, therefore offer a more realistic performance number than if you simply just relied on sensor specs alone. At Lucid, we not only do thorough pixel testing on each unit, but we also perform EMVA1288 image performance testing and offer that data online so you can better compare camera models. Finally, we also allow for shading correction. This helps correct for darker edges in the scene. This can happen because with larger sensor sizes, there can be a tendency to have less light transmission near the edges as we move away from the center of the sensor. This is partly to do with the quality of lens you choose for sure, but it's also because the tiny micro lenses that sit on top of each pixel, their shape is the same for each pixel. So for pixels that sit farther away from the center, their micro lenses are not shaped differently or tweaked to better capture the light that comes in at a steeper angle. So shading correction can be used to calibrate a gain boost in the edges for more uniformity across the image. 
All right, those are just a few things on how higher resolution sensors can benefit you, how they affect camera design, as well as some of the things that we do to maximize quality performance in larger sensor sizes in our cameras. Thanks for watching.